things I've heard about this tree, you know, it dates back over a hundred years ago. The grizzly bears used to come and, uh, and dance around this tree where they find the, the marks the way it is there now. This is where they practice. They dance around and then they jump up and scratch the, the bark and the trees. This tree is a very sacred and spiritual tree. The first annual event is generally small, but 50 years from now, I wonder what the generation then would be thinking about old Indian ceremonies. You look up and down the valley, no matter where you go, you'll never find a better tree than this one. It is magnificent. It is something. Pass the word up and down the valley. We are having a gathering at Paichutin. Well, they brought the best up here to spend a week or so uh, celebrating or just feasting and dancing. would take the last dance here to about 1880. That's as close as we can figure. It seems to run true, because after Custer's last stand in 1876, the American army took control of the Indians down the states and they subdued them. One victory, that was Custer's, but after that the Indians were under subjugation, very, very tough. And it seems to work this way, because uh, four years later, there was no more dancing here in Quigley. Sun, sunrise, we believe in dawn. We, as small people, come, we bathe our faces and swim in the river or creek, wherever there's running water, and we talk to the water. They said to me, all Jim Jim, that's, I beg of you, I am a lowly person and you are of high esteem. You talk to water that way. And to dawn, you talk to the same way, to dawn, oh dawn, child of the sun, when you awaken, everything comes to life. And to the sun, Oh, son, you are the mightiest of all. When you appear with water, everything grows. You make life from day to day worthwhile when you appear. So we ask you, son, help us for the day. That's why we, we have this gathering, this praising the tree, the sun, Whatever comes with it. <laughs>